My name is Anthony. Some people call me a saint, but I'm just a brethren of the Franciscan Order of Friars Minor. In other words, I'm a monk. You have no idea what a monk is, do you? Well, a monk is a man who devotes himself to a life of poverty, so he can worship God without any distractions, follow the word of his son, Jesus Christ, and study the mysteries of the Bible. <laughs> You're right. I wasn't always a monk, nor was I always a saint, and my name wasn't even Anthony. Excited. I sold my budgie to the Count. Look! But you love that bird. The Count said I'm a very good businessman. <laughs> Real gold. But gold cannot sing you a song. That's easy for you to say. Your parents are rich. Huh? Who is it? Come on. Robbers? Robbers? <laughs> is there anybody here? Yes, I am near, very near you. Who, who are you? Who are you? I am a demon. <laughs> Prove it. I can turn leaves into hey, gold. Give it back, it's I mine. don't believe you. Watch. from far away to speak to you about the repercussions of the monetary system on society and church. A good morning. A good morning, children. Uh, I... My name is, um... Uh, 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 Brother Elias, that's right, uh, and nothing funny about it. Uh, so, as you know, since not so long ago, people used to trade goods for goods. A sack of corn for a sheepskin blanket, a uh, sheepskin blanket for a stack of firewood, a stack of firewood for a bottle of wine. But today, we, we no longer trade. Instead, we use this. 
Oh, 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 oh. It's my coin. What? Oh. Why does he have it? Uh, uh. And uh, how would um, uh, a coin get in, uh, in, in my hand, hey? Mm? Because Fernando threw it at you. Oh. oh. Uh, 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 what's he saying? Do you think it's really his? I don't know. Boys, now you'll get the punishment you deserve for having been so naughty and taking it before the Valier. One day your great love for money is going to get us both disgraced. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, release the boys and, uh, and leave us be. Here they are. Hmm. <laughs> are you going to beat us? Beat you? Uh, of, of course not. Uh, though I should uh, give you a good kick in the um, in the uh, um, uh, bum. Bum. Uh, uh, that's right. And uh, nothing funny about it. Don't you know there are real demons in this world, and they have a goggling eye on boys like you, boys who play tricks on monks. And do you know why? Because those boys will go to heaven. I mean, um, uh, the other hell. Uh, yes, uh, the, the, that's right, and nothing funny about it. Do, uh, do you want to go to hell, do? Uh-huh. Uh, then don't act like demons. Uh, now say ten our fathers, and uh, all shall be forgiven. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Brother Elias, uh. are there really real demons in this world? Angels, uh, demons, sinners, saints. Uh, the, the world is full of them. Uh, trust me, trust me. What do you do when you see a demon? Uh, you make a sign of the cross. How? Uh, put the first three fingers of the right hand together like this. Why? Uh, it symbolizes the trinity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now bend the other two fingers towards the palm like this, uh, then uh, touch your forehead, uh, then your chest, to your right shoulder, uh, to the left shoulder. Uh, you've just made the sign of the cross. Uh, the sign of Jesus, son of a... Uh, son of um, You know who? <laughs> God! Uh. Real demons. What a goof. <laughs> Hello, youngling. <laughs> I hear you like playing tricks. I can teach you a few new ones. Fun tricks that make you laugh and people cry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I command you to be gone now. I beg you, Lord. Of course God is powerful. He made the earth and the sky and the stars and the moon all in six days. That's more than I can say for you, son. No giving out during dinner. But it's true. It takes him more than six days just to clean up his room. You're right, father. I am? Mm. Ah, I've been lazy. That's because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. What you wanted to do with your life? You're six years old. Can you believe this, boy? It's incredible. Shh. What is it you want to be in life, Fernando? I want to become one of God's servants. You want oh. what? What? I want to become a priest. Oh. No.
Dear God in heaven, my name is Fernando Bulho. I am six years old and I want to be a priest. Please help me. I want to make the world a better place. That I promise you with all my heart. Amen. Greetings, Fernando. I hear you seek answers from God. Ah. What is your question? I, I want to become a priest, but my father won't allow it. What you become is your future. A priest, a soldier, a merchant or a poet. The choice is always yours, and yours alone. But if I become a priest, my father will be upset. And if I don't, God... Don't say so. Both love you. Unconditionally. Master, your son is here. My son. Father. I've been looking everywhere for you. We were so worried. All the candles are out, but I saw a light. Why? Well, I had a visitor. Huh? An angel. He told me I, I can be a priest and you won't be upset. <sighs> He's right, my son. He's right. Fernando, you're up studying early. Yes, Father Vincenzo, I'll go to bed soon. Bed? It's morning. Did you read all night again? I guess so. At this rate, you'll not only be the smartest, but also the youngest priest in the country. <sighs> if Christ so wishes. Take you in his arms. Thou art a priest forever, according to his order, Fernando. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, Brother Elias, what a surprise. 
Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, it's uh, wonderful to see you. Uh, uh, who are you? It's me, Fernando. The demon. Ah, uh, you're, um, uh, F Fernando. <laughs> it's a joy to see you again. It's been so long. <laughs> your friends? Ah, uh, brother Bernard, mm -hmm. brother Peter, brother mm -hmm. Accursius, mm -hmm. brother Ajutus, oh, no. and brother, um, uh, Otto. Uh, brother Otto, uh, that's right, uh, and nothing funny about it. Uh, they are missionaries on their way to Morocco. So you're leaving for North Africa? Uh, not me. I'm just bringing them to the harbour uh, to help them hire. Uh, uh, um, it, it, uh, it swims. Um. Boat? Yes, yes. Uh, Brother Francis is sending them to Africa to preach to its people. Francis of Assisi. I've heard of him. He started the Friars Minor, a brotherhood of Franciscan monks. A wonderful man, humble, with a joyous heart, you know. He was rich once, very rich, but he gave up all his wealth to live by the simple gospel. Give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Do you understand? You will have treasure in heaven. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 21. Ah, you know your Bible well, Fernando. I wish I had your memory, I do. Tell me, but isn't it dangerous to go to Morocco? Only if you're a monk. I'll be right there. Pardon me, good man. Are you hungry? Hmm? Mm. How do we know he doesn't carry any sickness? Looks like he has a healthy appetite. Here. The last time I ate this well was as a young man when I fought in the Crusades for Alfonso I. See? Without our friend here, this cathedral would have been robbed. Oh, that's nice, but does he have to eat all our food? Give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Says who? <laughs> Jesus. Hello there. Why are you so sad, little bird? Bring to your church the bodies of five Francescan friars. What happened? They urged the King of Morocco to convert to our faith. They have tried to end this terrible, everlasting war. But their brave effort was only of use to put an end to their own lives. These blessed monks sacrificed everything to help those who have nothing. 
They have earned the crown of martyrdom, the highest achievement in the service of God. The crown of martyrdom? Oh. May we lay them to rest at your sanctum? Father Bullholm, can we bring the coffins into your church? Huh? Yes, yes, naturally. Father in heaven, your son gave his life for our sins, and these brave friars have given their lives for your kingdom. Please welcome their blessed souls to your throne. Amen. I hereby vow to rejoice in glorious poverty, for I need nothing on my journey but the grace of God, whom I vow to worship and to live by his word and to take up the cross daily to the end of my days. Ah, welcome, brother. Now choose a new name as a symbol of your new way of life. Who is the patron of your church, brothers? An Egyptian hermit who lived in the desert. He was the first Christian monk ever to be born. What was his name? Of course, his name was, um, uh, uh... His name was Anthony. Yeah, that's right. Six, one hundred and twenty-seven, one hundred and twenty-eight, one hundred and twenty-nine, one hundred... A brother Anthony is here to see you. I don't have a brother, one hundred and thirty-three. Uh, sir, he's a, a monk. A monk. A monk? What does he want? He's here to see his best friend. Fernando? It's you. You're a monk. You're a monk. Well observed, my friend. And your name is Anthony. I like that name. Please, please sit down. Will you have something? A glass of wine, maybe? King Alfonso sent me the finest bottle from his royal vineyard. No, no, thank you. But I've come here to ask you for a huge favor. Mm, what? Mm. What is your desire, old friend? Permission to travel to Africa. Africa? Yes. My order has allowed me to take the journey, but I need the governor's seal of approval to travel abroad. Your approval. Hmm. For over 400 years, our great city was occupied by the Moors of Africa. Why do you want to travel to their land? Many people in Morocco are sick and poor. I want to help them. To make the world a better place. <laughs> How can I deny my best friend such a noble wish? <laughs> Thank you, Rodrigo. 
Anthony, take this with you. Thank you, but I, I don't need... But this, this is that coin, is it not? It has gotten both of us into trouble before. Now it shall bring you luck on all your journeys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lisbon. Farewell. Thank you, Lord, for creating such a beautiful land. It's huh? a shame so many people fight wars over it. Oh, Brother Elias, what are you doing on board? A Franciscan friar never, never travels alone. It's uh, uh, against the um, uh, rules. Assalamu alaikum. Wa halaikum e hasalam wa ramatu hala. You speak Arabic, brother. Wait. You speak my language, but I also speak yours. You called him brother. Are you monks? Monks? Us? No, 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 no. We're, we're just a um, uh, family. <clears throat> Good. The Sultan ordered no more monks in Morocco. Uh, but, um... But, uh, sir, we are all brothers in the eyes of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ, uh, son of our Holy Father. Uh, no, 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 they, um, they don't, uh, uh, believe Jesus was the son of God. <laughs> Come with us. Now! We're going to get our heads chopped off. If Christ so wishes, so be it. So be it? What do you mean, so be it? I like my head where it is. It's not up to us or them. We follow the path that God directs us to. Whoa. 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 I think God wants us to run. Stop the monks! Stop! One piece. Oh. Oh. One very tired piece. Oh, oh. oh. oh no. Oh, oh no. Ah, Sierra Fikira.
saved us. I know, I know. Uh, uh, More over there. Oh, over there. Over there. Over right, there. All right. Uh, there he is. Over there. Over right, there. Right. Right. I suffer because I have wronged my fellow people. <coughs> What's your sin, friend? I can't. What I've done is too... It's too terrible. I don't... I don't want anyone to know. But God sees everything. <coughs> he does? God sees everything, brother, and he forgives us. All you have to do is ask for his mercy. <coughs> How do I ask... God for forgiveness. You pray. <coughs> God forgives us all. Please, please stay with me while I speak with God. Of course. I saw you giving fruit to an old woman. Those pears were your lunch. She needed food more than I. She has two children and a rabbit. You need to eat as well, brother. No one can survive on fresh air and God's love alone. Excuse me, sir? Yes, boy? I, I wanted to thank you. My father, he is always sick, and he is always sad. But today he spoke to God, and now he's very happy. And I think he'll always be happy ever again. Don't thank me, then. Thank God. With prayer, right? You're very clever, you know. Here, share this with your father. Oh, thank you. People of Morocco are very kind. We have never received as many arms as today. I could stay in Africa forever. You know, I have been to many, many places traveling for all my life, but I never had the courage to come to Africa. When I heard that you wanted to continue the martyr's mission, I, I knew I had to join you after all. It's, it's kind of uh, my fault that you've become a, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, a monk. That's right, and nothing funny. Anthony! Mm. Is he getting better? Uh-uh. His fever is even higher than yesterday. You think, can God make Anthony better? He can, but not here. To get better, he needs proper medicine. Maybe you better bring him home. Uh-huh. My lord, why, why can't I stay in Africa? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? Rest, brother. Everything will be all right, don't you know? Oh, oh, oh. 
afraid to do anything sturdy. It's gonna get rough. Fuck. Help! Help! We're all gonna drown! Help! Help! We're all gonna drown! Dear God, don't let us drown. Uh, help me save my brother today, and I promise to look after him forever. Uh, amen. Amen. Ah, ah, oh, oh. The fishermen were right. They are Franciscan monks. Are they alive? <laughs> this one is. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. You're awake. How do you feel? Like I was in a shipwreck. Where am I? At a friary in Messina. In Italy? Brother Antonio, how wonderful to see you on your feet. Now you can join us at the great chapter of Mats. It's a taking place in Assisi, and all the Francescan monks will be there, even Francis. Uh, I wonder when we'll get to see Brother Francis of, um... Uh, Assisi? Assisi, that's right, yes. Hello there. I hope you don't mind me strolling through your forest. He says you're welcome any time. Brother Francis, it is an honor to meet you here. I see you've suffered illness. Christ suffered for our sins at the cross. I am but a humble servant. Your devotion is admirable. I'm sure you will be rewarded for it. My leg doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> what did I tell you, Antonio? You have performed a miracle. No, not me. God. Uh -huh. Lately, I've asked myself, how can I best serve him? And how can I make the world a better place? I feel the need to do good to help people. What you need is solitude, brother. In the mountains, you will find a hidden hermitage of our order. The friars here are kind and reclusive. Move into the smallest cave, pray every day and every night. God lives in your heart, but to hear his voice you need inner peace and outer quiet. Seek absolute harmony within your spirit. When the time is right, God will call upon you. All you need to do is answer his call. Brother Anthony, I'm sorry, we're preparing an ordination ceremony at the Cathedral of Forli, but the priest has no one to give a sermon. Can't the priest give it? He woke up from his nap with a sore throat. Because this morning I was obviously sleeping with... A very sore throat, brother. You are the only priest to give the sermon. 
And what does he want me to preach about? Just speak whatever words the Holy Spirit puts into your mouth. In the Bible, Samuel tells us there is none more holy than our Lord. So talk not with pride, nor with arrogance. <clears throat> For our Lord knows everything of us, and it is by him that our actions are weighed. What the book of Samuel tells us is that actions speak louder than words. Many people talk a lot, but never follow through. Blessed are those who do as they say. When you speak, speak truth, for the honesty of a shepherd is more holy than the lie of a king. And when you act, act saintly, for no matter how small your good deed, it is better than no deed at all. Lord, see our brothers. They have taken to Samuel's advice. Today they stand before to take action. Help these priests to teach your wisdom, for they praise you and love you and honor you. Amen. To Brother Anthony, my bishop. It is with great delight that I hear of your marvelous skill as a speaker. God has given you the gift of words. Hence I appoint you to travel as a preacher and spread his word. I believe this is the calling you've been waiting for. Farewell. Come, he's outside the church. Hurry or we'll miss him. Come on, come on. This building there behind is. me may be the house of God, but you represent God's spirit. Yes. You have to slay the demon of corruption with the sword of honesty, just like the archangel Michael slayed Satan's dragon with his flaming sword. Always know that goodness of the heart is one of your greatest powers. Do good and God will do you good. Do bad and he may send you to a very warm place. Ooh, where? To Africa? No, to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you don't need money to go to heaven. Just a pure heart and a faithful spirit. So let us pray for all who need our prayer. Let us pray for a better world. Now, why does the Pope of beautiful Rome look so gloomy this morning? There are people in this country who slur the word of God. The Cathari, for one, have powerful centers in many of our hmm. cities. There is one man who could oppose these heretics. There is? Who is he? He must be a godsend. He's a monk. Mm -hmm. How can one monk save an entire city of misbelievers? Brother Anthony is special, Your Holiness. I advise you to send him to Rimini. Mm. Rimini? That town is a, a, a devil's pool, full of evil people. Evil, evil people in Rimini. Uh, no, people are not evil. I can't believe the, the one in Rome, uh, uh, leader of the Catholic Church. Uh, the Pope? The Pope uh, is, is sending us to Rimini. Us? Well, I'm not letting you go there on your own. It's against the, um, uh, uh, against the, uh... uh rules? Uh, that's right, uh, the rules. And, uh, uh, uh... Bring me some wine. 
We are all sinners, for God has made the heavens, but Satan created the earth, this brew, this table, this robe, this flesh. It's all evil. The devil is as powerful as Christ, if not more so. People of Rimini, hear my prayer. I'm just a poor monk walking the path of God, and so I beg you, not for money or for food, but for your ear. Listen to me for I have walked a long way to bring the good news. Our merciful Lord loves us all, people of Remini. The people of Remini are too scared to listen. You, you might as well be preaching to the fishes. That we will verify. I have sand everywhere, even in my, um, uh, oh, never mind. What are you doing? Where are you, where, where are you going? My little brothers, the fishes, hear my words. You too shall praise our holy God for he has created the sea you swim in and the plankton you feed on. God told Noah to keep your seed in the ark so your species wouldn't perish from this world. Because your home is the water, he has given you scales instead of feathers and gills instead of lungs. He has given you everything you need to exist. And all he asks in exchange is that you are in harmony with the world. And therefore, my little brothers, be grateful and praise unto God, just like he praises you. The fish are listening to the word of God. Huh? Oh, it's a miracle. It's a oh, miracle. Oh, it's a miracle. Oh, 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 miracle. Oh, oh, oh. Hold your horses, you simpletons! You fools! Don't be so gullible! It's all just a trick! Who is to say this demonic monk didn't put breadcrumbs into the water? He didn't! Uh, I was here! To make the fish rise from the sea! Who can deny the truth in this? Oh, what a surprise! You too are a monk! They are charlatans, both of them! We are not! So, are you saying you performed a miracle? Not I. God. Liar. Why don't you prove it? What do you have in mind? A challenge. Meet me at the piazza. Hmm? Oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, go back, please. Uh, could, could you step, uh, step back a little bit? Uh, where is he? Uh, do you see him? Uh, I don't see him. Uh, what if he wins the challenge? My God. My God, will they burn us at the stake? Oh, oh. oh. Uh, will they burn Have us? faith, my brother. Stake. Nobody will be burnt at the stake today. Heretic? This lying goon is up to. Uh, oh. mm, uh, Calm down. It's all right. Uh, there, there, look, he, he's arriving. Come on. Oh. Mm. Oh. Walk, you ugly beast. This mule is a bastard and a demon. It is possessed. Make this animal honor the word of God, and I will stand defeated. Calm down, brother. <laughs> What's wrong, miracle worker? Is your god taking a little nap? Don't you think? <laughs> oh, Dion, what if he tricks you again? 
Don't worry. I haven't fed that stupid donkey in weeks. Only God Almighty can make him turn away from me. And these crunchy carrots. <laughs> O oh, brother Mule, you are not my enemy, but my friends are worried that you may be evil. Turn to God and show the people that you are but a sacred animal and a good spirit. Or do you prefer this delicious food as a gift from Satan himself? There he walks in shame. Not in shame, in penance. I doubt it. Lujo is only good at making other people feel bad. Will you take my confession? Certainly. Meet me at the church. Prepare for a long stay. I think the people of Rimini have a lot to say to God. My heart is heavy with sadness, for when I was a soldier, my legion plundered a village and I too stole things from the villagers. I didn't like it, but, 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 but all my life I have followed orders. From now on, you will follow your heart. This is where God lives. Listen to your heart, and you are listening to his advice. Thank you, Father. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. What is your confession? I had a quarrel with my friend. I lent him money, but he can't pay me back, so I got upset. And in my rage, I kicked him. Money is the worst reason for a fight. I know, and I'm sorry. Clear the man's debt, and God will clear your sin. Pray to him, pray to him. And remember, the foot that hurts a friend will never walk the right path. Yes, Father. What is it? <laughs> he felt so terrible about what he had done that he took an axe to his own foot. His own foot. I didn't mean for this to happen. I didn't want this. <laughs> Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I have nothing to give, not even crumbs. All I have to offer is pain and suffering. You see, I preached to a man and he hurt himself. I don't think I'm fit to spread the word of God. All I want now is to move back into the hermitage of Monte Paolo. I miss the choirs of the caves. I don't know what to do. Oh. I wish God would give me a sign. Ah! 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 What a fright! I'm sorry. We didn't mean to frighten you, Brother Anthony. Oh, but you speak, Brother. Lujo, you are a monk? Well observed, my brother. Ah, oh, up you come. After I left the city, I was very angry. Mostly with myself. And a little bit with you. Then it came to me. If a donkey can show faith in God, so can I. Thus I joined the Dominican Friary of Cecina. I'm very happy for you. Unfortunately, you are looking at a foolish monk who bit off more than he could chew. What do you mean, brother? Jesus changed the world, but I can't. Hmm. All things are possible for he who believes. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. You know the words of the Bible. But do you believe them? I do, brother, and I live by them. But it's difficult sometimes. No matter how hard I try, I cannot make the world a better place. Yes, you can. You already have. My world. <sighs> My foot. I can feel my foot. It, it's a miracle. A miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Oh, Anthony! Anthony has done it! I suppose we have no choice in the matter. As the new appointed Pope, I have summoned the most honorable members of our religion. We, all of you anyway, to discuss a crucial state of affairs. Inform them, my Cardinal. War rages upon our blessed country. The merciless Emperor Isolina da Romana is opposing our papal supremacy in many a state. Already have his imperial troops occupied the cities of Verona, Vicenza and Padua. Isolina robs our chapels. It's true. Even my monastery has been ravaged by a passing legion of Isolina's army. But what can we do? We're just God-loving friars. Speak for yourself, monk. The church has its own fierce soldiers. Brave knights who fought for us in the Crusades. They would die for the cross and kill for it. Oh. With more war, there's more bloodshed. There's no other way, Your Holiness. We must call to war. The Holy War. Not so, Your Grace. Brother Antony, uh, how kind of you two to join us. <laughs> Your Holiness, there is one blade sharper than a thousand swords. The word of God. I wish it were so, but so many people have turned from the church. It's not because of tyrants like Ezzelino. Our priests go around the towns with generous paunches and round, rosy faces. Many of them rather sleep than pray. They don't know the gospel and the scriptures and they are arrogant and ignorant. 
Easy prey for the unfaithful. They may call you the hammer of the heretics, but it's one thing to convert the heart of a man who lost faith in the church. It's something else to convert a heartless man who destroys churches. It is better to tame a wolf than to kill him. If we were to act more saintly, evil would soon be crushed without any need for swords and crusades. Ezzelino himself would find it difficult to question the authority of the Catholic Church. Weren't you meant to be in a cave? Let faith be our weapon. What do you suggest? What, what do you mean you're going to speak with Edzelino? I mean I'm going to Verona to speak with, you know... Uh, Edzelino? That's right. <laughs> Nothing funny about it. You're very right. There's nothing funny about it. You're a monk. He will kill you. That's what he does. That's what he does. If Christ so wishes, so be it. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Oh. Are you coming? No. I'm going to sweep the papal palace with my little toe. Oh. Of course I'm coming. Of course I'm coming. Oh. I'm glad you didn't move back into the caves. I'm glad you didn't stay in Rome to sweep the Pope's palace with your little toe. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't ever stay in one place for, for very long. And why would that be? You see, everywhere I go, people make fun of me because I have a tendency to, um, to, uh, um, uh... Forget things? Yes, yes. So I've traveled all my life Always by myself, uh, until I met you, of course. Nobody makes fun of me when you're around. Brother, God gave you a gift. He did? You make people laugh. Yes, but you... You have divine wisdom and courage and power. I could never do the things you do, like the preaching and the, you know, the... Uh, the miracles. All is possible for he who believes. But I do believe in the Lord. Not just in God, you also have to believe in yourself. The people of Padua seem unwilling to accept me as their king. Maybe I should throw more of them into the dungeons. What do you think about that, Rodrigo? Your prisons are already full, master. Maybe it's time to get rid of some prisons then. Time to see some heads roll, yes? Except for the ones who owe me money, of course. <laughs> like yourself, Rodrigo of Lisbon? Um, uh, Master Ezzelino, a Franciscan monk has come to town. What are you bothering me for? Go and chop his head off! But the friar Anthony is... Anthony? You know him, do you? As I was saying, Brother Anthony is rather unusual. Yes, unusual. Unusual? How? You better see for yourself. And so the Gospel tells us, where your treasure is, there also is your heart. But the treasure of your heart is neither money nor gold. Ezzelino may be rich in gold, but he has no compassion. That's why he's the poorest man in the world. Because God doesn't care if your pockets are filled with gold. 
It is love. He cares only if your heart is filled with love, and he will reward you for purity, not for prosperity. Bring him up here immediately! I searched him, Master. This is all he carried with him. Give me one reason why I shouldn't take your habit robe and strangle you? I give you two. You shall not steal and you shall not kill. <laughs> <laughs> Your commandments mean nothing to me. This is my kingdom. I make those. So I've heard. I've also heard that you steal money, imprison innocent people, and burn churches. Furthermore, I murder monks and enslave their friends. Uh, guards, take him to the dungeon. Rodrigo, what happened, old friend? I'm so sorry. What happened is he asked for a loan but refused to pay me back. I did pay him back, but Ezzelino said he needed to make a profit. So he took all my gold, then my house, then me. Let him go! He owes me money! You owe him freedom! <laughs> Look into your hearts, ruler of Verona. You were once a little boy, scared of darkness and full of dreams. Now it is you who brings darkness to the people and nightmares to the children. So allow these people to return to their homes and to their countries. Remove your soldiers from their cities and their land and bow to the King of Kings, our God Almighty. Did you see that? Did you see it? See what, sire? The monk, the monk, he blinded me as he spoke. You want me to silence him? No, 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 I will, I will let him go. I oh, will let I mean, him we, go. He's, he's free? Yes, and his friend, both of them, all of them. <laughs> Do it! People of Padua, behold the man who saved you from evil, Brother Anthony of Lisbon. Please, set me down. Uh, uh, brother, are you feeling well? You I'm fine. You look pale. Just a bit dizzy. Please, it is not I who deserves your praise. God's word swayed as Alina. I am but the Lord's humble servant. I, for one, praise the Lord for sending you to us, my friend. We will build a basilica in your honor, so the people of Padua have a place where they can pray to God and thank him for saving us from our ruthless enemy. Allow me to offer you some land near my castle in Campo San Piero, not far from here. The area is beautiful and serene, the ideal place for a Franciscan monastery. You're very generous, but I can't... Turn down such a noble offer. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you. <laughs> First he takes my people. Now he takes my land. What next? My gold? Uh, uh, I, I don't think Anthony is interested in, in, in this ki in kind of thing. I'm not interested in what you think! Ah! 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 This monk is mocking me. 
but I, I thought... Uh, don't think! I don't care how divine he talks. This time I will make the monk pay, and pay he will with his life. I don't know why he prefers to sleep in the stables, but I guess that's why I'm not a monk. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. It's a walnut tree, planted by my great-great-great-great-great-great forefathers. It's hundreds of years old. It's beautiful. My workers built a small platform between the branches and a ladder for you to climb into the crown. Let me show you, Anthony. you hear up there is the wind in the leaves and God's voice in your heart. You're too kind. The people of Padua love you very much. They're calling you a saint. And I think they are right. Please, know you're welcome to stay as long as you wish. Tizo, my friend, I had a vision last night. Can you tell me what it means? It means that soon I shall be... Desolino, and I don't remember sending you an invitation. Don't be a fool! Your land is only your land because I haven't taken it from you yet. Yes, sir. No! No! no. Ha. You harm him and all of Pajo will come after you! Did somebody say, please cut my throat? Uh, the Lord will punish you according to the fruit of your doings. He will kindle a fire in your forest, and... Oh, spare me your gospel brother. Ah. I told you, I don't fear your God. Your Bible is but a long, boring book to me, and your faith is as laughable as your haircut. You want to go to heaven? Let me fulfill your wish. You keep it, brother. Soon I won't be needing it anymore. Oh. 
And that's how I ended up here, in the tree with you. <laughs> I know, it was a good life. But soon, my friend, very soon, it will be time for me to go. I will be leaving Campo San Piero forever and traveling to Padua, my city. My brother, my friend, I hope you can see me from your seat in heaven. All things are possible for he who believes. Your Holiness, I stand before you to make a petition. Our brother Antony has died over a year ago, but his spirit is still alive in the people's hearts and in their prayers. His mission to follow the word of God brought Antony from Portugal to Italy and as far as Africa and France. He has preached in the poor man's port and the rich man's court. He has touched the lives of the faithful and saved the souls of the cynics. His words have enlightened us and his actions have inspired us. Your Holiness, God has performed many miracles through him. But the most wondrous miracle of all was performed by Antony himself. <laughs> 